friends, welcome to the first week of the Scrap Hoarders YouTube Trio Hop. I'm really excited because today we have prizes from MHK Designs, three different prize packs, and these are open internationally. I just wanted to take a t some time to show you before we got into the video what these packs look like, so enjoy, here we go. Hey friends, Min here from Honest Stampage. I am really excited to be joining some amazing crafters for the next three weeks. We have three weeks of videos ready for you. We are calling them the Scrap Hoarder series. Hoarder, H-O-A-R-D-E-R, -E because we are all self-proclaimed scrap hoarders. And so today we're gonna share videos on how you can use your scraps to create embellishments. And I'm gonna show you how to use papers to make layered embellishments like this one right here. This is a card that I made recently. This is a really simple example. But what happened was I had this pattern paper and I was like, oh, that'd be so pretty as the background on a card. And then I wanted an embellishment that matched. So what I did was I took the patterned paper and as you can see, I used a punch to punch out some circles and I just kind of played around with it and I played around with other things to mat it. I ended up matting it with a scrap of the gold and I made some extra ones for later for my stash. And so I'm just gonna show you how you can use punches and pattern papers to create elements that you can use on your cards. And then you can even have like a little box or drawer of them and you can grab them whenever you need. So I have various glitter slash pearlized papers for us to use today. A couple of different plain colored papers and then some patterned papers from my stash that I grabbed that I thought might work well together. And then I literally have punches all around me. I don't know if you can see some of them, but I have all different shapes. Um, I've got like my scallop circles and then my different circles. I've got scallop squares and squares. I've got butterflies, anything that I think might work, okay? So I'm gonna start by choosing a combination of these three papers that I think will go well together. start by making my base this craft color and I want to start out with this big I don't know if you can see it hopefully you can see it. it's two and three eighths inches okay so I'm gonna start out and punch this out of the craft scrap that's rather a large scrap and as you can see I've already punched something out of it so that's gonna be my base and then I think I want my next punch to be this glittery black. I just love adding glitter cardstock to things because I feel like it gives it a nice added texture. And sometimes you have glitter paper that are super small scraps. For instance, this right here, as you can see, it's had many things punched out of it, but I could even punch little things out of here. And now that I see this, I might save that off to the side. So now I've got that. And I think what I'm gonna do next is do another circle that's a little bit smaller. So I need my one and three eighths. So I'm gonna do my one and three eighths and I think I'm gonna make this green. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. But actually we're gonna go for that green in the middle. Well, yeah. So there we've got those. And the cool thing about this too is you can put dimension or no dimension in between whatever layers you want. And then what I'm kind of thinking is this needs a little butterfly or something in the middle. I also grabbed like these three small flowers, but I'm really kind of feeling like this tiny butterfly. And honestly, I'm feeling the gold. So like I said, keep those scraps that look like they're really nothing. You can cut them down if you want to. I just like keeping them a little bit bigger because this is easier to find than if I just cut down this strip. That's just me though, you do you. So now I've got this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna layer it together and I'm gonna speed that part up and then we'll be back and we will embellish it.
All right, so I've got this all layered together and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna embellish it. So I feel like in the middle of the butterfly needs something and then maybe all the way around. One of the things I really like to do is use liquid pearls because that way this can be stored and it's easier to use again because the liquid pearls are not gonna come off as easily as other gems. So I'm looking, I've got ivy green, I've got key lime and then I think for the middle of the butterfly I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this onyx pearl this black so let's decide which green I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna go for I think I'm gonna go for the key lime it looks like it'll work a lot better so let's go ahead and put some liquid pearls on this embellishment Okay, so this one is done, it just needs to dry, and I love the way this turned out. I could have even done maybe like pink, green, pink, green all the way around it, but I think this is cute, especially if it goes on a pink card base. Um, I'm gonna lay this aside to dry, and we're gonna do one more embellishment that's a little bit different so that you guys can see. Hey guys, so sorry that my camera stopped again. This is the second time this month, but here is the embellishment that I made the second time around using some different shapes. Thanks so much for stopping by today, friends. I will be back soon. Until then, hugs and happy stamping. Bye.